happened to my delicious coffee? You should really get yourself a bean grinder. This canned stuff's intolerable. Oh. I'm gonna go and have a smoke. Sally, it appears that your new boyfriend has bogarted my coffee. Yeah, something tells me he ate all our cereal, too. Yeah, so? <laughs> we spent the night together. He got a little hungry. What's the big deal? You slept with him? No, we were discussing his writing. He is an artist, you know. I don't like what this guy has done to you, Sally. You're broody and moody, and your hair looks like... Like, like what? Doody. Yeah, well, what do you know? You and your ivory tower, hurling down your wisdom McNuggets dipped in the special sauce of the establishment. Peter Connolly's obedient little sheep. They've sat through his puppet show, purchased his T-shirts, and now they're here to discuss the experience and feel cultured. Oh, that's pathetic. It's not their fault. Connolly has them programmed. He's the head of the monster. The head of the monster? Yeah, I'd love to have five minutes alone with that phony. Why? What would you do to him, Seth? Let's just say, he would never dance again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great show, Peter. You killed out there. Hey, not as good as the Sean Branson, but uh, I'll cash the check. <laughs> Peter Connolly! What happened to the redhead from the second row? She's outside. Give her a t-shirt and send her home. <laughs> Peter, I am so sorry to burst in on you like this, but I just couldn't control myself. Hey, boys, why don't you take a walk, see if you can find some of those menthol cigarettes I like so much, eh? <laughs> hey, hey. So, where should we begin? Me not so wee, lass. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> you strike me as a lady who knows what she wants. Well, Peter, <clears throat> you know what I want right now more than anything in the world? Tell me, Buttercup. Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> yeah, you know, I want to be wide awake in case we go for a ride on the old tour bus. <laughs> uh, well, then, by all means, lass, let us latte. <laughs> Uh, have a seat right over there, honey, and I'll be right back, okay? Don't make me. Come and get you. <laughs> Seth! Sally, you look sexy. What? In a very stereotypical kind of way that does nothing for me. <laughs> Seth, look what I brought you. What? It's the head of the monster himself, Peter Connolly. Peter Connolly is here right now. Yeah, go let him have it. Come on. <laughs> Peter Connolly. Uh, yes. Oh, my God, can I have your autograph? <laughs> what happened out there? I mean, that wasn't the Seth I know. Sally, please. I was mocking Connolly. He signed your shoes. <laughs> yeah. The shoes of a man who hates him. Ha-ha! <laughs> <sighs> I don't believe this. You're a fraud! Sally, the whole culture here is a fraud. I'm a fraud, you're a fraud, life's a fraud. Yes, but you in particular are a complete fraud! <laughs> God, when I think of what I gave up for you, I mean my family, my self-respect, my hair care regimen. Wait, just relax, you're being stupid. Oh. That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Why don't you check out out of here, loser? Get out! <laughs>